Hello everybody. I had planned tonight on reading chapter 12 of The Search. So for those of you who are trying to catch up to it and please continue. Today we went to Kansas. I was going to film some background for the for the reading but we ran into some stuff that I just did not expect. We went down to see my my folks at the nursing home down there but as soon as we got to the or well just before we got to the bridge that goes over the big blue river into town we could easily see the flooding is not done and then when we were leaving I told Joe well, let's head out toward Alco Springs so that I could get some really good country footage that way and as we did the river was there I mean we didn't get as far as Alco Springs we didn't get to where we were cut off by the river but it was kind of looking like we would be and to tell you the truth I just got to a point where I'd seen enough there are just so much farmland it's not over we've heard that the Missouri River is still flooding but I haven't heard anybody talk about the Big Blue River since my sister went down there the end of May to take my father to the cemetery where his folks are, are buried. So I'm going to show you the footage and just please be praying for everybody who's still affected by these floods. This is outside the river. All of this. We're in Blue Rapids. It's just, I figured it had gone down, but they're not opening the floodgates down at Tuttle Creek, Tuttle Creek Dam. And this is what's happening. It ain't over, folks. Not by a long shot. Yeah, Blue Rapids Lake. Well, actually, it's probably considered part of Tuttle Creek. Notice the severe erosion in this clip. Nope, it's water. We'll have to turn around right here. We were headed for Alco Springs, but we ain't going to make it. That flood is all the way out here. And they've got a, a, well, they had a thing across the road back there. So, but you can see. That water just keeps it going. Oop. <laughs> I keep forgetting to push record. You see that tree line there? Beyond that is water. More and more water. It's not just by the... Well, we're on the other side of the bridge, but quite a ways. A couple miles, anyway. Just keep going. Keep going. Yes. This is Prospect Hill Cemetery. That's where my parents will be buried. My grandparents are all buried here. It's where you find history though. Not just sadness, it's where you find a lot of history in these places. Probably. I, it, what fascinates me is the ages of grave markers. There's that flat one there behind, behind that tree. 
I don't know how old that one is, but it's well weathered. Probably. And then there's this one that's just close to it back here that's with, yeah, I mean, it's less than, I don't know, probably 50 years old, I don't know. Hunt. I knew some hunts. So, anyway, I don't believe in ghosts, so no, there's no ghosts in the cemetery. No zombies either, they don't. <laughs> we had a girl in the car one time who just almost, she almost jumped out of the car before we could before letting us pass the cemetery. I don't know where my, well, the Fultons are buried in here too. Not Charlie and them, but his folks. As you can see, it got a little much for me. That's where I grew up and to see so much underwater I've seen some of that lowland underwater before, and it was just something we got used to every few years. But to see Tidal Creek back all the way up <clears throat> for a little bit of his, uh, for a little bit of geography, Tidal Creek Dam is about 35 to 36 miles south of the town of Blue Rapids where we were. Back in, I think it was early 1900s, when they first put that dam in, there was a little town south of Blue Rapids. There were two of them. One was called, called Biglow, and the other one was called Irving. I believe they were probably named after founders or something. But they were evacuated. Unless flooding like this happens, they never go underwater. All that's left there is, you know, some of the concrete slab foundations and that kind of stuff. There are still farmers that farm the area, though, because basically it's very seldom underwater. More than likely, it's all underwater right now. What you were seeing would be conceived as part of Tuttle Creek even though it is also the Big Blue River coming out because the Tuttle Creek Dam dams off the Big Blue River to make a big lake. And um, they slowly are opening up the floodgates or the spillways at the dam. But they're very... They're very concerned about the communities that are downstream from there. So the lowland farmers and they just, I guess they, they just wait and pray until they open them up more and allow more through and get those floodwaters down. We did see some good cropland though. The crops that were on the outside of the flood area, they were, they were going gangbusters. There was some really nice looking corn and wheat, and the wheat was looking nearly ready to harvest, which in June is generally the time. So wheat chaff's gonna be in the air pretty soon. <laughs> so I don't wanna It's kind of given me a headache just to talk about it. It is just very sad to see. Being a farm kid, I, I may be 63. I haven't lived on a farm in years, but I'm still a farm kid. So it still hurts my feeling. I still look at crops. So <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, it is time to say good night. Please subscribe, click the notification bell. Give us a like, share us, comment, and please do remember to smile and wave. Because there's people out there who need them smiles and waves. And yes, I took my teeth out. You've dealt with it before. <laughs> we'll see you Monday, hopefully with chapter 12. <laughs>